Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to Vlogmas. So it is currently eight in the morning and I have a meeting in West Hollywood. I normally don't have very many meetings per se because a lot of like what I do and like things like that is either through my agency or like through phone calls you know what I'm saying so I love when I have like a little meeting that gets me out of the house makes me feel like I actually have a real job I don't I don't know what I'm saying I'm just gonna shut up but yeah I'm meeting with NARS and I'm excited because you know, I haven't really worked with NARS in the past and I definitely love their products and they are going to show me some of their new holiday products, which I actually really like. I like when brands like take the time to sit down one on one with people and you know, just like give you the information about products. Here come the dogs. Hi baby, good morning. But yeah, I'm just gonna get ready really quick, do a very, you know, light beat and be on my way. I don't wanna be late now, do I? So I'm gonna get ready. Look at what my little ham does. He sits at the kitchen table and looks out the window. What a little good boy. You the best boy ever. Mommy gotta go to a meeting, okay? I'll be back. You take down the four, hold it down, all right? Okay guys, so this is what my Makeup looks like I'm not really sold on the lip. I'll probably change it later when we go to the Spotify party. But I really like the way the eyes came out. I used the Lady Gaga, where the hell is it? The Glam Attack, and this is in the shade Chains. Chains. This is the shade Chains. Just kind of like, you know, a little wingy dingy moment. I'm gonna go drive now to West Hollywood. So let's go. It's so cold in my car, I had to put the heat seater on or the seat heater. Heat seater? Seat heater. And also, look at this shit. There's not enough hours in the day, y'all. I need an assistant or something. That's like really bougie to say, sorry. I don't have time for this, Mercedes. Okay, I need to rant really quick. Everybody in California is like so annoying when they drive. Like we're all trying to get to the same place. You don't think we're all trying to go? Like sit in traffic with the rest of us. Like stop cutting people off. You're causing more of the problem. And please, for the love of God, use your motherfucking blinker. Nobody uses their blinker here. Oh my God, I have road rage, sorry. I said my piece, okay. Hey you guys, so I'm at a little brunch with NARS and I'm getting the tea on some new products coming for 2020 and the end of the year. Yeah, so this is the Afterglow collection and it launches exclusively at Sephora on their mobile Ooh. app tomorrow. Tomorrow, you guys. So, it's the, not, the 10th. <laughs> the 10th. <laughs> it's a 16 well eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. I love the pop of pink. And then we have the Six Well Cheek Palette, which has a limited edition highlighter formula, which is a gel Ooh. to powder. Oh, yeah. can I touch it? Yeah, totally. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, it, like it does feel super creamy. Oh my God, look at that. And the cool thing about these highlighters is there's no pigment, it's just pearls. So just oh, this, like, so you get the- Amazing glow. Okay, you guys, so these are some swatches of the eyeshadow palette. You can really see how glittery and reflective these shades are that I swatched. And this is without any flash. I really need to go get my winter shades, bitch. Okay, but I just got a goodie bag from NARS, you guys. Sorry I didn't vlog much during the meeting. I really wanted to have one on one time. I really feel like brands that take the time to hang out and like get to know people are just like so awesome like I'm so grateful for NARS like to take the time to get to know me and just like make me feel appreciated you know what I mean because there are some brands out there that I feel like I bust my ass off trying to give them love and some brands like they don't even like know I exist or care I exist and that's okay you know I don't expect to fit every brand's mold but I will say like it is a breath of fresh air that meeting I just had with NARS to be able to sit and connect with people and to like talk with people and to you know just really feel appreciated by a brand is like so nice because like I said that does not come around often and I'm, I'm not even trying to be dramatic saying that so yeah I'm gonna drive on home now and get ready for my laser get my coochie laser bitch all right so I just got home let's go get the hootsas already jumping hootsas hootsies hey baby hi mama oh 
hello, hello. Oh, okay. You're back in your same spot. We still haven't fixed a picture frame. <laughs> so Riley is now gonna go drop off and donate my clothes. He's got some of his clothes here too. We donate our clothes a lot. It's not something that I post about because I always feel like if you're doing like a charitable thing, you shouldn't have to post about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that defeats the purpose of doing charitable things, but I do want to show y'all that we do do this a lot. So yeah, thanks for doing that for me, honey bunny. You look so handsome handsome today by the way <laughs> okay so Riley just went to drop off the donations for the clothes but I wanted to give you a little bit of an anxiety update because I feel like I haven't talked about my anxiety in a really long time and um, you know I, I really love opening up and being raw and real with you guys because like at the end of the day I'm a freaking normal ass person in a normal ass life you know what I'm saying so like I don't know I also feel like talking to you guys is like my therapy in a way like I I really love talking to you guys like I really do but just like reflecting over the year like of um, how I started off the beginning of the year and where I am now I am so proud of myself for my anxiety because I feel like I've done a lot of positive mental health changes in my life. I've stopped letting things affect me the way they used to. I've kind of had like an epiphany and I know people always ask me like, what's your advice on anxiety and how do you get through things and how do you do this? And I think we all have different coping mechanisms, but for me, what's really helped the most is just putting things into perspective and just realizing like how lucky I am and like how grateful I am because I think at the end of the day a lot of us compare our lives to what's on social media and that alone is enough to give somebody an anxiety spiral you know what I'm saying and I want you guys to know that my life is not perfect like I last week I literally got into like a screaming argument with Riley like you know what I'm saying like there are things in my life that aren't perfect and that's okay and I and I want you guys to know that and I want to share my more of that with you guys because I feel like so much of what's online half of the time is so fake and phony and like if only you guys knew ugh, someday one day I'm gonna write a tell-all book I swear to god <laughs> you know I think what has helped my anxiety the most is just like putting things into perspective removing a lot of negativity giving myself limits of how much I'm on my phone and you know hanging out with the dogs more and honestly this time of year I feel like for me it's really hard to be sad or depressed because I love Christmas and I realize that not everybody has the luxury of loving Christmas and my heart is with you guys for those of you that maybe have a tough time or maybe have a broken family or whatever it may be, you know what I mean? Like, I get that this time of year is so difficult for some people and that's why I wanted to share some of my tips that, I've, that have helped me this year with my anxiety and honestly, crystals have been helping me out my cbd has been helping me out so much the dogs have been helping me out they're sitting right there watching me like mo it looks so regal right now i had an epiphany in july that was like big picture things like there was an event that happened that just made me realize not to sweat the small stuff anymore and that things can always be a lot worse and to just be grateful and appreciative of what you have in the moment of time. And I also have found that I have become a little bit closer to God and my faith has been a little bit stronger and I've been praying a lot more. And you know, I'm not gonna sit here and push religion on you guys, but I do find that praying really relieved a lot of my stress and anxiety. And I also write in a manifestation journal a lot and I'll like write my goals and I'll write what I'm thankful for and I'll write like, you know, just what I want to happen maybe in the next year or like things that I'm grateful for and just everything in general. I feel like writing down and just like talking. Sometimes I'll go into my beauty room and just even just talk to myself. Like as crazy as that sounds, like talking to myself is amazing. And I also have a life coach that I talk to on the reg, Sally. I've shouted her out like a few times. I love her and um, being able to talk to her about things has just been amazing and incredible. This time of year, I do feel like my spirits are a little bit lifted and better because 
of like my birthday's coming up and it's Christmas and I love the holidays and I love decorating and like Christmas just makes me happy and I love lights and you know, that definitely does help. But I actually feel like for the first time in a really long time, I can sit here and say I'm really proud of like how I'm ending 2019. Like I don't, like in July, I literally, July and the beginning of August, I literally had like suicidal thoughts. And I don't get like that. Like I don't, you know? And I'm just so happy to be in such a good place and ending the year in such a good place. And I realize that there are people out there that may not be ending the year in a really good place, but I just wanna let you know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Things do get better and it is okay to ask for help. Like, it's okay and it's okay to be on medicine. It's okay to try CBD. It's okay to do what you need to do to feel better in your life. and. I just want to be more of a positive advocate for that in the new year and to continue out the rest of this year for you guys because, you know, I do have my days where I'm like, ugh, I just, I don't want to do anything. And you know what? That's fine. Like, it's fine. You know, I had my little anxiety setback last week with Zeppeli, the dog we tried to foster slash adopt, and my anxiety was so out of control. I was crying day and night, and I was so anxious and like not feeling good, and you know what, it's okay to have little setbacks, and just know that it is a little setback and try not to let it affect you. And I also have been doing a lot more like painting and craft stuff and that really helps my anxiety a lot too. Oh my God, I feel like I've been babbling. I like need a gasp for air. But you know, that's kind of just what's been going on and I just wanted to give you guys an anxiety update and I feel like I've just been so proud of myself and I, and I haven't said that in a really long time. I'm just so proud of the woman that I'm becoming and nothing else matters in this world than your opinion of yourself. And if you don't have a good opinion of yourself, I want you guys to right now list out five positive things about yourself. Leave them in the comments, write them in a journal, whatever it may be. But trying to trick your mind into thinking of the positive is has been like liberating for me. It's been like life changing. I can't help would stop smi- like I can't stop smiling like and I just want to share it with you guys you know because I have those shitty ass days and listen bitch it's okay to have those shitty days it's okay to cry it's okay to feel anxious it's okay to feel depressed it's okay to literally sit on your couch and want to do nothing take a friggin mental health day take an appreciation day for yourself you know what I'm saying like shit we need more self love in 2020 and I promise to you guys that I'm going to be a bigger advocate for that in 2020 and open up more of my life and open up more of my struggles. There are some things that I still want to share with you but don't really know how to exactly word them yet because I might get into trouble. <laughs> I had a really rough year. Like I switched agencies in the middle of the year. Like I had to take a different direction with music at the end of this year that I didn't want to have to take. And like I've had to make a lot of really big decisions this year and 2019 really was the year of making big decisions so that your 2020 could be a really successful and happy one. And yeah, I'm gonna stop being hella corny right now, but I just really wanted to say that and it was on my mind and I feel like I haven't talked about my anxiety in a minute and I wanted to just express it. Gotta get ready for laser now. Oh my God, first of all, I didn't know the first time when you get, like when you say Brazilian, I didn't know it meant your booty hole too. So I was like shocked when I felt that laser going near my booty hole. I was like, bitch, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready. And also one thing I wanted to end off is like, everything really happens for a reason and I also have been accepting that in my life because I feel like things that you may want to go right might not go right and it's because God, the universe, whoever it is that you believe in has a better plan for you and I really, really have been taking that more to heart and that's been something that's been helping me out a lot too, so yeah. Okay you guys, I am now on my way to laser and I'm gonna bring y'all with me. I don't know if this is an accurate statement but I feel like at the end of the year the sun is like a million more times brighter and I know this this is probably the worst angle ever. I'm just trying not to show where I live, so 
some weirdos don't show up to my house. So I thought when I moved to California for the first time, or even when I came here for the first time, we have stoplights before you go on a highway. And I always thought that was the weirdest shit I had ever seen because we just never had that in New York, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so I just finished my laser and now I am gonna go home and have to figure out what we're gonna eat because I always like to eat before I go to events because I don't really know if this Spotify event is gonna have food, so I gotta figure out what we wanna eat. And yeah, laser was good this time around. We, la we raised my levels. This is probably like my 12th session. Like honestly, I always tell people, you have to go at least like eight times to see results because it's taken me a really long time to see results. I have like that thick ass Italian black hair legs. Oh, if only it could grow like that thick on my head. Just a concept. All right, guys, I'm gonna drive home. Oh, I'm so sick of driving. This is like my driving day. Oh, and I'm also not stoked on the fact that the traffic is probably gonna take me an hour to get home, so that's f fun. Oh, uh, so I just got home, and I think I just got my period, so that's fun. Cue the cramps. Hootsies! There she is! There he is! Hi, babies! My hair got frizzy, you guys don't mind that. I forgot to use this hair product that I use every day that helps with frizz. I am wrapping one of Riley's gifts right now, and I thought I would take the liberty to now show you what wrapping paper we're using. So I have this one right here and it just says kind of like Mary Mary all over. I really like the paper wrapper look and we also have these. I'm not too like crazy about this one. That's why it's still kind of in the package, but I really love these. So we have the polka dots and the trees. No, I'm definitely not the best gift wrapper. Okay, you guys, we are all ready to go to the Spotify event. This is what I'm wearing. The pants are from Fashion Nova. They're just like fully leopardy pants, and the top is from Forever 21. I'm really excited, and Riley's super excited too because he loves Maggie Rogers, and she's performing there tonight. So I'm a little bit nervous because, like, I'm totally out of my element with this. It's not a beauty event, so I'm very nervous, but I'm really glad they gave me a plus one so that at least I could bring Riley with me. He's like my little comfort blanket, you know what I'm saying? Alaska wow. on Spotify. The incredible, the 
talented Miss Maggie Rogers. did you take out? How many bones? <laughs> Shut up, Dad. <laughs> we made it back. Oh, Look at this boy. Smile for the camera. Hi. Hello. I'd be good. Oh, my heart. Hi, baby. I'd be good. You take I picture know. now. You're a good boy. That was the cutest thing ever. How was it? It was so good. Why don't you say how it was? I feel like I didn't show you all day. <laughs> This is me. It's me again. Now I have two actual screen times to bank for the vlog. Three! Whoa! This whole vlog's just got me in it. <laughs> oh my god, the dry humor. Oh, you get to run in the snow. He hates it. Dun dun dun! Okay, so we're watching Christmas with the Cranks. This has been like our fifth Christmas movie, maybe? No, actually, like third, right? Third? Fourth? Okay. Maybe. Probably the third. Yeah, this will be the third. No more than three. So we got Junie Girl right here, and Mo is down there chomping on a bone. Riley's eating some cereal. I'm chilling right here. I actually am having one of those moments where I really like the way my makeup looks, so I'm gonna keep it on for a little bit longer. 